BIM tree allows uh, architects, CNP engineers, and structural engineers uh, reach Revit information that's not available within Revit architecture, structure, and CNP itself. So you can find uh, BIM tree manager under the separate uh, tools for Revit create and modify tab. Uh, the main functionality is with the name management data. And uh, after pressing that functionality, you will be able to select the categories uh, that are used in the current project. So there are two ways how to select the category. You can select the category here from the list or you can pick any element uh, from Revit project and you can then press on management data. So now let's take a look into the door category. So this is the list of all doors that are used to, that's already used in this current project. Right now we have 186 elements. Every um, door will be displayed to, as a separate row. Uh, here in the columns we will see the parameter names. Uh, in the left side of the tree, you will be able to make a filter according to uh, parameters that are used in configuration. So the hello columns will be displayed as uh, additional parameters that are used for filtering and for grouping. So let's go into con configure grouping. And here uh, we will be able to pick additional parameters that we want to see from the door category. Uh, there are many extra parameters um, uh, available. Uh, let's say we can switch on architectural uh, part, architectural group, and then we will be able to pick parameters as department and room name and room number where the door opens. Uh, then extra parameters we can see and we can just look into the family name and the type name. So after pressing OK, now all the doors will be able we will be able to group and filter our doors according to those parameters so as you see here we can filter uh, doors according to the level then according to department name then according to uh, room name or the room number where the door opens At the same time, if uh, we will select um, elements from uh, the list, let's say here we'll select all those doors, we will be able to see that selection in our project. If you need to look into more additional parameters, you can go into selected param select parameters and in the left side of the tree, you will be able to see and find all parameters that are created in the door category. So you can say that you would like to see additionally like door material parameter or for example thickness parameter and after pressing OK you will see those parameters here in this dialog. Uh, one more uh, information about the dialog. Um, if uh, parameter values are displayed as white color, in the white color, in the white cell, so then, then you can know that this parameter is instance parameter. If um, the value is displayed with a gray color, then is type parameter.